the king of Class A diesel pushers, is now here, available at our general RV location in Ocala, Florida. Allow me to introduce to you our very first 2024 Tiffin Allegro Bus Model 40 IP that we have here in Ocala, Florida. We're going to be taking a look at all the features of the outside, then the inside, then we're giving you three things we love about the Allegro Bus and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone, today is an exciting day. We have our very first Allegro bus here at General RV of Ocala, Florida. Now, we sell Tiffin all over the United States, but you guys know Ocala is our home store. So we're very excited that we didn't have to travel to Pennsylvania, Michigan, or Utah to bring you an Allegro bus. And before I begin, gotta say hi to Miss Andrea. Andrea! Hi everyone! You, I know you love your Allegro buses. Oh my gosh, I am so excited that we have Tiffin here in Ocala. And you're about to drive home. Yes. And normally after we do a Tiffin, you gotta drive to the hotel because we gotta travel so exactly. far away. Exactly, so this is exciting and it's beautiful. So you guys are gonna love it. Guys, without further ado, let's begin. Model is Tiffin Allegro Bus 40 IP. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome, Andrea, is 41 feet long. Now this one's a little different. This sits on the Power Glide XSP chassis. Tiffin actually makes the chassis. It has a 450 horsepower Cummins L9, 1,250 pound feet of torque. We got 100 gallons fresh water, 100 gallon gray water, and 55 gallons of black water. And underneath is an Onan 10,000 diesel generator. They call this a diesel pusher because your engine's in the back. And the Tiffin Power Glide does have the side mount radiator for better airflow. Andrea, this is the Allegro Boss. Can I tell you something? In 2023, we call the Tiffin Phaeton kind of like the knight of the round table and the Allegro Bus, the king of the round table. I mean, but this kind of, this year has a little bit more edge with the headlight design, doesn't it? Yes. It looks very good, beautiful full body paint, 360 cameras for when you're parking, nice big front windshield. And you guys know Tiffins are made in Red Bay, Alabama. Roll Tide. War Eagle. Right up there, we do got big chrome bus style bus mirrors with side view cameras there. Look at the steps right here, Andrea. I call these the cassette steps. So they're not the cheap steps that fold out like this that are the black ones. They, they come out like this and then drop down. Very sturdy, I call them the cassette style. They have an actual name, but they are the higher end step. And that way when it's folded in, all you see is chrome and it's sleeker and better looking. Nice little dog window right there. Frameless windows throughout this whole motorhome. A door awning, Gerard awning. Look at the Gerard slide toppers and the Gerard armless awning right there. Doesn't that just look clean? It really does. It really does. And then also you notice those, those are window awnings as well. All Gerard looks fantastic. Okay. Right here, you do have touch tone doorbell to enter the motorhome. Keyless entry? Yeah, uh, yes, ma'am. Wow. And then look at these tires, Andrea. They're Michelin's, I love those. 315-80R 22.5 with the shiny Alcoa high polished rims. Looks very, very awesome. Right here, you got fuel fill up on both sides and the fuel capacity is 150 gallons. That's less time spending at the gas what station. What a beautiful paint job. It is. Also, one thing, Notice how sleek the slide yes. outs are. Very slim. It's, and it's, then it has the paint on the sides when it comes out. Dang that. It, Andrea, it is, you it, know your Allegro I buses. I do, I know, I know. Right. It's just, you know, luxury. Coming on down here, we got a little bit of storage here. All aluminum slam latch door. TV here on the outside. LG, of course, sound system. Sound bar. Everything's nice. gonna be top of the line. Uh-oh, you yep, got it. I got it. I love the doors on here too. Ooh. Look at the cargo tray. Look at that. Yes. You can get that access from both sides and that is what, easy glide? Yes. Okay. And Andrea, it is um, not manual. All you gotta do is push the button wow. to get it coming in and out. Same. Same with this one. Okay, this is awesome. Yes. Then right over here is gonna be a refrigerator access. And look at that camera. Yep. 
That is for the 360 camera for when you're trying to park. And then here's to your potable water fill. Potable, potable. Yes, that's what we like to see. Yes, ma'am. Right here at the other side of the storage. Okay, that's good storage. Now, America, when I pulled this motor home out, Andrea was really mad at me because we're so I do have a two o'clock meeting and we're running out of time. She's like, don't grab a big one, but I'm like, America, this is the Allegro bus. Even though it's bigger, we're actually gonna be able to do this review faster because there's not a million things we need to fix or edit or get the key. It's already done, it's turnkey, you know what I'm saying? It's a beautiful motorhome. And look at this XSP. It's the Allegro bus, yes ma'am. Then right over here, we got a little bit of electronical components. Okay, Th those are some secondary tank drains. Air supply right there, built by Tiffin. And then look at this battery, uh -oh. Andrea. Uh -oh. oh, hang on, hold that. Napa, Napa know-how. Commercial. <laughs> commercial series like, very nice we just wait for those don't we i mean i love the napa batteries we just like to say it and we're not even sponsored right. by napa this is ridiculous coming around the back andrea we do have a ten thousand pound hitch max ten thousand pounds towing on this motorhome look at the rear of this motor andrea oh this my is not, goodness it's not a motorhome this is a motor coach you know what i'm saying this is exactly what i expect for half a million dollars you beautiful know? right here you got your engine access compartment, backup camera, 360 camera. And again, here's the side mount radiator right here. This is gonna allow for better cross flow of the wind coming in while you're driving down the road. Okay, and here's where you fill up your DEF. And even though it's the power glide chassis, which believe it or not, that can be a positive thing and a negative thing. It's positive because you know, Tiff, Tiffin built it but it's negative because it will be harder to get work on the chassis part, but no need to fear because it's still a Cummins engine in an Allison transmission. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And that's all the, you know, I don't want to jinx you, 50 amp power cord reel. Most people don't have problems with the chassis part. It's the engine part that will normally need maintenance and stuff like that. Beautiful motorhome, Andrea, and we're Beautiful. wrapping it up. We are wrapping it up. Hydronic heating system, 450D. That's because there's no propane on this coach. So Miss Jen, bing, please put all the specifications so everybody can see who's watching on television. Oh, this is a wet bay. Look at this wet bay, nice little outside shower. You got your Perel little- uh, Hand sanitizer, yes. water purifier. Oh, oh, go, and a outside towel holder shower. right there. Wow. Very nice. I love that wet bay. Let's Other side of the storage. Other side of the storage. And then here's some very nice lithium batteries right Ooh, here. Oh, another battery bank. Yes. Very nice. Very, very impressive. Tiffin is impressive, Andrea. And you guys are going to get a little Tiffin worn out from us because this is our third Tiffin this month. We're just so excited. <laughs> well, we got them here and we don't need to travel no more. Michelin tires. Here's another side of your fuel fill and then some more electronical components. I love how Tiffin labels everything as yes. well. It's very, very nice. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Allegro bus looks beautiful, but believe it or not, it actually looks better on the inside. Let's go, take a look. Cargo carrying capacity. Check out the inside. All right. Look at the floors in here. Okay, 3, guys. 3,500 pounds. Wow. All right, so you can see that it is opposing slides. And, you know, I'm walking through. There's, you know, it's not too bad. Um, I got to turn sideways here to get through here in the kitchen. But you can definitely open the refrigerator. Here is your half bath and your master bedroom, which looks like you can use the bed with a slide in. And while we get out all these slides... Let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of today's episode. Guys, this episode is sponsored by RVMattress.com. Now, you guys know we love Brooklyn bedding in RVMattress.com. And this month, in the month of March, we have something extremely exciting going on. 30% off your purchase with what's called a dynamic code. So if you're interested in a new mattress for your RV, click the link down below and type in your phone number to that link. Brooklyn Bedding will then send you a text message that gives you a one-time use code that is 30% off. You guys know you can always get 25% off when you go to rvmattress.com backslash mat, but if you're in the market for a mattress, 
Make sure you join us this March to get the best deal of the entire year. Andre, this motorhome's big, beautiful, and awesome, and we were talking about it off camera. Tiffins have always been geared towards the older crowd where they're killing this, and people are loving this motorhome. Something that I want to point out, um, right here is the slide out button for this one and that one. You see it right there? Yes. And they do that to make sure you don't scrape the back, okay? Of the chairs, yes. Because if you recline these chairs too far back, you're gonna scrape it with the slide out. So I love that feature. And these are all hydraulic slide outs, but these move a little slow. I wanna show you this. Come back here. Oh yeah, the, in the paint. So one, this is the um, this is the control panel for everything, okay? The house batteries, the slide out. It shows what needs to be done for the slide outs to come out. And then watch this. See the slide out in? Oh my gosh, it's so quiet for a slide. It's quiet and fast. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Really, really nice back here. We're gonna show everybody the whole motorhome. Okay, but I think first, I found one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, let's, <laughs> let's show everybody first. Okay. Look at all the space in here. Okay, so Andrea, very nice driver and passenger seat, okay? I got a window right here. How you doing? I actually love that feature. Cup holder, you got your controls right here. Solar shade right here oh, for both the driver. Yeah, that is awesome. Yep. Very nice. A phone holder right there so I can see what's going on. You can see this digital dash. This is the Tiffin Power Glide chassis okay telescoping steering wheel up and down in and out very nice radio and you can see what's going on with your camera screen right there navigation step cover area and then right down here we got a little bit of storage there very nice kit tiffin keychain and a little bit more storage there Andrea, how do you feel in the co-captain seat? This for real is a co-captain seat. It really is. Why is that? Uh, one, it's super comfortable, but this, like... What is that? Tell everybody. It, it's a monitor, so I can kind of keep track of navigation and the cameras yep. and stuff. Yep, absolutely. Um, it does have a footrest, you guys. Okay. It's very comfortable. They both swivel. There is a step cover that goes here. Very good. Oh, there it is. Well, it's not coming on right now. It's probably user error. Well, but the door's open and the entrance true. on. But anyways, um, that's nice. You won't be falling in. And yeah, the only thing I'm missing is a workstation. Well, you know what, Andre? You got the Allegra bus. You don't need to work no more. Why? You just need to focus <laughs> on driving down the road. I do want to let everybody know right here, Andrea. Yes. I do want to let everybody know that right here, we do have... Hey, it's an air horn. Very nice. We now, got, Andrea, what do we got over there? We got some storage up here. Very nice. Over here as well. Above the door. Uh, I see JBL speakers. Okay. Uh, a little bit there. Nice big TV, LG. A little bit with electrical outlet. Yes, ma'am. And ma then above, we've got some more storage with your coax and all that good stuff. Very nice. Very nice, Andrea. I do love this engine area. And then driving this from around back felt fantastic, but not as fantastic. Driving it is not as nice as living in it, Andrea. Oh this my goodness. Is, this is beautiful. First and foremost, let's check out this modern looking cabinetry. Very nice. I like very, the color. Very nice. Just quality there. Check out these valances. Check them out. Look at the valances. Andrea. Oh, Andrea loves these valances. Look at the light sconces are very cute. I love it. And then over here below, we do have your... It's probably electric. I hope it's not. Oh, and it is. Yes. So it is daytime blinds and privacy blinds, and they are electric pull down. Okay. Very nice sofa here, Andrea. Believe it or not, this actually has a sleeper mattress wow. underneath there. Next to here, we got power that works. And then look at this button right here. Televator. With the push of a button, Andrea, the TV that I'm looking directly across from raises up and lowers down right there. Andrea, look at that little bit of storage right there in the slide out. You see that? I do. 
Let's what see. A little bit of storage. You know why, Andrea? Because you can never have enough. Never, never oh, have look, can I show this before we forget? Please do. There's a prism of power there. Very nice. And guys, real quick before we move on, I gotta say, look at the lights above here with the design to yes. hide the air conditioning and all that. Yes. It's very pretty. And then Andrea, again, if you don't want the TV up, you push that button down. You can see more of the balances, a nice sound system there. Very comfortable sofa. Now this one only jack knives down to make a bed. It doesn't pull out to make a bed, but you do have the ottoman right there. And, and that's like a ottoman. good storage ottoman. Yep. It does come with storage as well. And you can, can you flip that? Uh, no. Oh. I was about to say, it looks like the type that you could flip. Andrea pointed off the awesome, I guess, architecture of the roof. Whatever you want to call that, it's beautiful. But also look at the beautiful Portsmouth style snapstone flooring. Very, very nice. And then over here, we have very nice storage above here, above the dinette. How you doing? And can we just take a moment just to look at the slide design? I mean, very pretty. You know, it's funny. It's because, definitely glamping. Well, Tiffin's has always been elegant, but now they're like stylish and elegant. You know what I'm saying? It's like, now they're modern and elegant. Right over here, very nice solid surface tabletop. Kind of low people. dinette though. It's very low. I actually like the low dinettes. Um, something else that I like, see how the cushion curves back yes. there? So now my back molds perfectly to this. Um, I'm gonna, Andre, remind me to talk about the dinette later when we go over three things we like and three things we don't like. Cause there's something very specific that I want to tell everybody about. But also look right here, Andrea. Art Deco. No. <laughs> Matt, I think there's storage under the dinette. Can you show everybody? Sure. Um, as you can see right here, it looks, oh, that's, that's pretty good. Definitely so not on, bad. It's on both sides. Yes. And I like how easy that was to open too. Yes, very nice. Like I had to work really hard. Yes. And then Andrea, show us this awesome kitchen area. You can start right there. Right. Well, I'll start right here with the refrigerator. We have this bank, I think, LG refrigerator. Very nice. Very nice. The freezer down here. Wow. And this does have what? The water purifier, ice maker. Yes. And then I believe this is the pantry. Wow. It lights up. And look, that's where Bob Tiffin signed. Oh. Happy camping, Bob and Judy Tiffin, January 10th Happy of 2024. Trails. Happy trails. So sweet. And this locks into place, but look at that. That is a good size pantry. And then over here. And I actually love how that was lit up too. I, I know, that's nice, it's a nice feature. Right here, we have more storage. This little drawer here that comes out. Very nice. Locks back in, solid surface countertop. I mean, you have this much to work with, which is pretty good. Yes. And then we have some drawer. I think that's just one. Oh no. Oh, that's oh, a board. Or man, yes, yes, very wow. nice. Okay, let me see if I can get that back. Yeah. And then we have three drawers. Wow, and look at that. Soles, soft clothes. Mm. Good size. Wow. Wow. All right. And then over here we have, oh man, these are so heavy. So we have the two burner induction cooktop. Okay. Okay. We have the prism of power back there. Wow. Beautiful window, beautiful backsplash. And then I think this might be a dishwasher. Hey, that's a very nice dishwasher there. Underneath, we got a drawer. Okay. We've got some more cabinetry above with the drawers here. Let's see what's over here. Same thing. Very on the nice. Side. Yep. And then we have a really big sink. Okay, this Look is at strange. that. This is like three pieces. Wow. So, um, that I have not come across before. Whoa. But it's a big double sink, you know, residential style. You have the extension here. I believe this is for soap. Everything's bigger and better in Alabama. That's right. Roll Tide. Roll Tide? No, War Eagle. Oh, man. And then let's see what we got underneath. All right, underneath, spot place for sponges. Okay, okay. And then, oh, I hey, love these. Hey, that's a $176 trash can. Look at this. Man, look at that. I know. Are you sure it's only $176? Yes, ma'am. And I think that's it. I think this stuff is just for Cosmetic. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for, for the, the MSRP. MSRP. MSRP on this motorhome here, stock number 299031 is 584,000 
$811, Andrea. That is MSRP. Sale price, because it's a current model year Tiffin, I actually am not allowed to share with you guys what the sale price is that we have on this. But if you click our link down below and go to generalrv.com slash mattscash, we have a link that sends you to a member of our team. Reach out to my team, and my team is here, and I promise you guys, they will get you the absolute best price in America on this Tiffin or any Tiffin motorhome. Or give us a call at 844-969-4033. Salt Lake City, Florida, the Mid-Atlantic in Michigan. We sell Tiffin nationwide, so please reach out to us. Andrea, let's check out the half bath. Right here, we have a very nice looking half bathroom. Solid surface countertop on the sink. Little bit of storage right there. A very nice mirrored medicine cabinet. With adjustable shelves. And some really good storage right there. Notice how even the Max Air fans mm, covered up. That's very, very nice. Very nice. Andre, this is a porcelain toilet and this is a half bath, but unfortunately, this is not a prime pooping position. I'm just leaning up on this a little too hard. And you know what? For half a million dollars, I'm not even gonna give it a pass. You know what I'm saying? But here's where I would almost give it a path pass, is that it's a 40-foot motorhome that's bath and a half. You know what I'm saying? Is this 40 feet? Yep. It's not even tag axle. That's 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 crazy, right? No, tag axles are like when they're past 40 feet. Uh, right over here okay. is the brains of the operation, Andrea. Your slide out, your tank controls. You can see how much fuel you have. This is a really nice looking system. Very clean, organized, but more importantly, easy to understand. I like the wallpaper. All right, so going into the master bedroom, we have a pocket door. Yes, storage there. Blu-ray player, the Hoppa from Dish Network, a very nice LG TV. That is humongous TV. Yes, a little bit more storage there. Nice window right there. I don't think there's storage, is there? Because it's really a big TV, probably not. Probably, Andrea, you're probably right, probably not. A nice little tabletop, solid surface, again, to put your knickknack patty wax. I actually really like that. Nice drawers here. A fireplace that does produce heat from electricity. Even more drawers there. And I do like the window right here as well, because you can never have enough windows. And then look at what that is, I Andrea. Know. What is that? That is a ceiling fan. Yes, ma'am, it is. We have a very nice king size bed. USB on both sides, a little bit of storage right there. And then here, Storage, storage above, above, the, above bed. the bed, posing you know, Andrea, windows. How, how, how you liking the uh, headboards and everything? Honestly, I don't really like the headboard. Okay. I feel like it's not doing this motorhome any justice. Okay. What about the lights above? Look at the texture They're of the very, lights. Those are very interesting. I don't have a problem with the lights. Okay. Good. 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 And then we got here. You can con you can uh, do your lights, your fan, all that good stuff. Electrical outlet. A little bit of a nightstand. And you've got a little bit of storage. Yes, and Andrea, USB. you can control all that on both sides of the bag. Nice. I do actually love that. Do you think there's storage underneath there? I don't know, there? possibly. Oh yeah, there's where all your pillows are. Ah, very nice. And then look at this big door going into the master bathroom. Look at this big wow. shower in the master bathroom. Oh, I love that with Andrea, the teak seat. Look at this, is this not nice? Beautiful. Shower miser system, look at the tile, look at the teak seat. I got plenty of space in here. How you doing, Andrea, how you doing? Look at this, this is what I call shower, and this is the shower that I want and expect in a Class A diesel pusher. What do you got going on over there? All right, so we have a double vanity. Show us. Uh, medicine cabinet here. Very nice. Uh, another one right here. Oh, okie dokie. Same on this side. Whoop. Okay. Wow. Two sinks, they did the backsplash, electrical outlets. Double vanity sink. And look at that, your light switch. Mm. And that's just for show. We've got some drawers here too. And then under each, you have storage under each sink. Yep. And I, I forgot, I almost didn't even <laughs> see it there. I know. But liquefy, our brand of RV toilet tank treatment. Guys, we got orange, lavender, drop-ins. We got the new powder that comes out. Go to primepoopposition.com, liquefiedrv.com, or just search liquefied on Amazon. That's our toilet tank treatment company. Thank you to everybody for all Thank the support. Thank you guys. 
And, and it looks good under it the light. It does. Button. Check this nice. out. Nice. Stackable washer and dryer. More closet space. Yes. Look at that. And Got I do want to let everybody know the engine's on. It's not that loud. It really isn't. And you got a little safe right there as yep. well. That, that's where you store your liquefy. Yes. Because you don't want nobody stealing that. Unreal, Andrea. Unreal. I'm in a half million dollar motor home and you're going to give me this. You know what this is? A prime pooping position. Bing! Very nice. Love the toilet. And you got a little window there. What yep. the heck is that? That's for your towels. Ah, very nice. And then nice. you got your fuse box right there. Okay. Andrea, that's it. That's the review. That is the beautiful, prestigious Allegro bus. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time to give you three things that we love about this motorhome and three things we don't like. Andrea, what do you want to do first? Oh, man. Let's do three things that we dislike about it first. I got two, so oh, I'll let man. you go no, first. Oh, man, no, don't let me go first. I want you to go first. I have to think for a second. I know. Okay, you... You put me on the spot. You really don't have one? Well, I would say mine is really very little. Well, give and, it to Andrea. And, it's... and, you know, it's it's going to be the fact that I really, really don't like this carpet yes. on the slide. I actually had all three, and that was number three for yeah. me. Carpet on the slide out. Guys, it's a beautiful tile. And don't get me wrong, it's really nice carpet, but... I, ex you know, at this level, I want to see tile or I want to see some sort of flush floor. Not only that, Andrea, look at the uh, carpet under the bed right, right there. Right. You just notice it. You know yes, what I'm saying? Yes, yes. Is it a deal breaker? Absolutely not. That is dislike number one. Andrea, you ready? Right there. Right there. Can you see dislike number two? No. Can Where you is it? feel dislike number two? Mm. It's more of a feel. No, I can't okay, feel it. Okay, you ready? I'm sorry. I'd rather have the kitchen on that side and the dinette on that side. Okay. You know, you can't do it that way because then you don't get the half bath. But the reason why I'd rather have that is because when I sit, I like sitting in the dinette with my back there, but my head's facing this way where there's no TV. So if the dinette was on this side, my head would be facing the TV. Not only that, with the kitchen on that side, I'm looking out at the campsite. But there's a lot of people that much rather have the dinette on their campsite side. For me, that's just a dislike number two. And again, is that a small, stupid dislike? Yeah. But come on, can you really find dislikes in a motorhome like this? It's very tough. I do have dislike number three. I don't like the electric blinds all the way around. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people like that. That's a high-end feature. Dude, I just want to pull the blind down. I don't want to go to the iPad, figure out is this the front corner panel, you know, I just, I literally just want to grab the blind. I get it. That's three things we don't like about it, Andrea. Now, time for the easy part. Three things we love about it. And you know what, Andrea? I am going to make you go first That's this time. That's fine. Okay, so I got to say. Talk to me. I love, love the interior that they've done in here. Yes. Uh, good job, you know, Tiffin. I, I love the new style and it looks great. Just everything. Yeah, everything. The colors, the balances, the backsplash, the floor. All of it. That Excellent. is that is number one. You know, like number two for me, Andre, is just gonna be the quality. Driving this thing around, getting the slide outs open, getting the operating this motor home feels like it's a breeze. It feels like everything is made for it. And you can really feel the fit, finish, and quality of a Tiffin motor home. And I don't know how to explain that other than just by telling people to come here and touch and feel it, open the slide outs. You can feel that everything was like almost like precision. You know what I'm saying? That's love number two. And then Andre, like number three has to be this rear bathroom. Love the double sink, love the storage, love the fridge, the toilet, the washer dryer. Again, to have a bathroom like this. Pretty good size. In a 40 foot motor home is pretty impressive. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're interested in buying this motor home or any Tiffin motor home, please go to generalrv.com slash Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us and a member of our team will reach back out to you guys. They will get you the absolute best price in America. Andrea? Hey, everybody.
everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Read the comments. They do watch the videos, you guys, and we're so excited to have Tiffin. Yes. So make sure you leave your feedback. We hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll see you next time.